I have put a link inside the description. It's a scene from the movie Leon the Professional, and it's involving the two main characters of the film. An older man and a younger preteen girl that he takes under his wing and shows her the tricks of his trade. Now when you watch it, she puts on a sundress for him in the hopes of his validation. She walks up to him and he sees her. He says nothing at first and she makes him compliment the outfit. Then later, they have a conversation and the scene cuts off to them sharing the bed together. She lays his head down softly on the pillow. She takes off his shoes, pulls the blanket over her, but not before holding his arm out and resting his head on it, and then wrapping his arm around her as she wishes him good night and he stares up at the ceiling and the scene cuts off. Now at first glance you think this is just another case of a younger girl hitting on an older man, but if you look closely you will notice how she gravitates toward him and she wants to snuggle herself in his protective embrace. And this is an observation into female psyche and behavior, because if you assume that the vast supermajority of the population of women and girls are like this, and I'm talking about anywhere, anytime, and any place on planet earth, you would be correct in assuming so. It's a very common occurrence and there's a real reason why it's so common. Embedded in the minds of of most females, there lies a little girl that yearns and longs for the affection and protection of a man. This is the type of protection and fatherly love and guidance that women seek out in the form of a husband or a life partner. This is the essence of female father need. That's what I've called it anyway. I've done another video about this very thing, which again, I'll link that below inside the description. If you have ever noticed how many women are always competing for the affection and attention of males, is to fill in a void. A void that can only be filled by the presence of a male. Whether it's beta males lining up to give her money, or the alpha which provides her protection from the element a plethora of resources that can give her fatherly guidance. Women always have this ingrained into them since early childhood, much as the male does with his mother and when he seeks out a, a wife that embodies the traits of his mother. Women are known for being social creatures and relying heavily on a male for the, an assortment of tasks. The eventual reality of not having a man in her life of any kind has thrust the female in a perpetual darkness that has terrified her to the core, which is why you see so many women obsessed with finding in her mind who will be Mr. Right or Mr. Perfect. It's also the reason why so many women are detached from the cold reality that no such man can truly exist and why no man who has any intrinsic self-value or worth would even associate himself with such a woman. Women know that deep down no matter how hard they try and downplay this, there will always be an empty space inside of them that yearns and longs for male leadership and protection, which is also why women constantly test a man that she has selected to be her mate. She is always putting him in a make or break scenario to test if he can have the ability to lead, provide, protect, etc. the way that her father or any father figure she grew accustomed to can. It's also no secret that women do not like to be led or bossed around by other women, especially in the workplace. See how many women resent their bosses that are older women placed in positions of authority or power. They resent her because women are not meant to be ordered by other women. If that was the case, you wouldn't see so many cat fights and drama when it comes to a crowd of women congregating. You would see mutual cooperation and respect like you would see when you see a group of men working together. This is also the reason inside of single parent households where the absence of a man is noticeable. Why so many young girls grow up to resent her mother because try as the mother might, she cannot bring herself to fill in the void in her daughter that was left there with the absence of the father. We also see this manifest itself inside the lesbian community. You have the strong alpha butch and the weak submissive femme. The butch femme dynamic that's so prevalent in lesbian relationships is the manifestation of female father need in same-sex couples involving women. The butch protects and provides for the femme. In return, femme provides motherly affection for butch. If you have ever noticed that in your family that how younger, more impressionable girls seek that out from a grandfather, uncle, stepdad, or male friend of the family? That's natural. Girls naturally gravitate towards the dad or any older man in any scenario, and why they try their hardest to control men in any way they can. They know that if enough men are say that I am not taking this anymore, I'm no longer providing or protecting, this would thrust the entire female collective into a feeding frenzy. That's why they rely so heavily on the government in the form of affirmative action programs. They know that if enough men continue to stop feeding the beast that gynocentric feminism and traditionalism have become, it would be game over. Women know the worth that a man brings, and they know the worth, or rather, lack of worth, they bring. If men were strong enough to form their own collective outside of the prescribed female one and started drifting away, it would spell disaster for them. That's why women are so obsessed with wanting to control and police men in every way they can. Men are already waking up and they always try to control and censor any and all MGTOW and Red Pill videos. They need to acquire as much of a man's resources as possible. They need male guidance and no matter how much they try to deny it, I'm strong and independent, I don't need no man, we've all heard it before. So with that being said, alongside female 
father need, allow me to introduce the term Brefault's Law in reverse. A concept that is being played out before our very eyes is where men are starting to determine the conditions of the human kingdom, wherein if he's not able to derive any benefit from association with the female, the female is non-existent to him. The female does not exist if the man does the proper cost-benefit analysis and determines that the woman that has her eye on him is not worthy of any affection or attention for that matter. Case in point, the Japanese herbivore men, which is essentially MGTOW being played out on a civilizational scale. The women of Japan, and frankly most women here in the West, have degraded and disgraced themselves to the point that any man that values himself and knows his worth will not in any way associate himself with such toxicity. He would be like going swimming near a pond right outside of the Chernobyl reactor. I will not put my body inside a cesspool of radioactive cancer-causing microbes, and neither would you. Men seek out alternatives in the form of a sex doll or virtual waifus. Thanks to the use of technology and male innovation, men are finding pleasure and comfort outside of the collective of the female. This terrifies women on both sides of the spectrum because remember what I said, female nature is universal, and if they can't have us, nobody can. Since women have successfully shut down bot brothels in Italy and in Houston when it opened up not too long ago. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and make a donation to my Patreon. Links below are inside the description box. If you have any songs, if you have any suggestions for my Anthems of MGTOW series or a topic for me to discuss, send me an email or post it in the comments section. That's all I have now with more to come.